Hi, Neil Thornberry here from Bumpy Roads RV. I'm here today to talk about the capabilities of my Ford uh, Ranger truck. It's a 2022, it's an FX4 sitting behind me. And I wanted to talk about it today from two perspectives. First of all, as a tower, how good is it at towing an RV, uh, some kind of trailer? And also, how good is it as a towed? So we're gonna look at both towed and tower today with the Ford F-150. Uh, interesting story about this, I had no intention of buying a truck. In fact, most of our towing is done with our motorhome using our Jeep uh, Roop Wrangler uh, Rubicon. And it tows great, as you know, most people love those Jeeps because they tow well, but this Ford is also quite towable. <laughs> we were living in Florida at the time last year when uh, Hurricane Ian came through, and uh, we had a 13-foot surge down our street near Naples, Florida, and it took out three cars, a classic Jag, a classic Corvette, and my wife's brand new Lexus. So uh, we were bereft of cars, and at that time when Ian came through, you couldn't buy a car. They were almost done on the lots. A lot of them had been destroyed. But I happened to come across a Ford dealer, and they had this truck in stock, and uh, I was gonna buy it, and somebody bought it first before me, but the salesman called me up about a week later and said, hey, this thing's back on the lot. They didn't go through with it. So I bought it and we loved the truck. In fact, we looked at different trucks. We looked at the Toyota, we looked at the Nissan, uh, we looked at the Chevy. In fact, I even looked at a ZR2 and I thought that was gonna be a great truck, but it was a horrible ride for the ZR2. If you like this kind of ride, that's bad. Uh, the Toyota is a nice truck. A lot of people love them. They last a long time. They have no towing power. So the specs on this guy is that it'll tow 7,500 pounds, even though it's only a four cylinder turbo, it's got a lot of torque. So it'll tow 7,500 pounds, and I'm gonna talk in a minute to a guy who actually has towed a lot of trailers with this kind of Ford uh, Ranger, and he'll give us his take. I haven't towed with it, but uh, we use it as a towable sometimes when we don't use the Jeep. So uh, let me talk a little bit about the specs on this. It's about 4,500 pounds, 44, 4,500. FX4 is an off-road version and it's got gas shocks and it's got uh, higher lift and uh, same engine as all the other Ford Rangers, but it's got a little more capability off-road. I gotta tell you, the ride is terrific. Uh, I've ridden the Toyotas, I've ridden the Chevys. Toyota's got a great ride, but not the towing power. Uh, the only thing you have to think about when you're towing with this, it'll tow 7,500 pounds, but you probably want, don't want to max out more than about 5,500 pounds in your trailer. Uh, but it's got a lot of power and torque, and uh, you'll hear from uh, a friend in just a minute about how well he's done with the tow. But you got to be careful. The towing uh, capacity of this, or the towing length, is a uh, 126 wheelbase. And so it's not so much the towing power, which is pretty good at 7,500 pounds. You have to be careful of the length of the trailer because the wheelbase on this is about 126 inches. Now you compare that to a Ford F-150 and that's about 145. So you're looking at about a 20 inch difference in the wheelbase on the Ford F-150 versus the Ranger. So that's quite a bit and that'll make a difference in how much your trailer sways. Recommendation on this is you don't go over a 25 foot trailer and I think my uh, I think my uh, research has shown that's probably about right. Uh, and But you can do it as long as it's in the weight range. Uh, so as a toad, it's, uh, I put on, uh, on the tow plate, I put on a nice tow plate. And uh, from Blue Ox, it works fine. And this is an electronic shifter, so you have to do a little bit of machinations in the cab, pushing buttons and doing some shifting before it'll go into four neutral. Of course, the Jeep is manual and the Jeep is easy to put in, well I shouldn't say easy, the Jeep is um, more straightforward in putting it into four neutral. Uh, however, the Jeep sometimes when you get to a place where you're ready to take the Jeep off, sometimes you have to use a lot of force to get that thing out of neutral. So I think this is actually easier from a mechanical point of view, but a little harder from a mental point of view, but once you get it, it's easy. So that's the take on the Ford. I'll take, I'm here with a neighbor of mine in Oren, and uh, he and I share the distinct pleasure of owning two Ford Ranger pickup trucks. Uh, you see his blue one next to me, it's a 2021. It's an off-roader kind of like mine. And then I have a 2022 that's very similar to her, his. Very interested to see his experiences in towing. A lot of competition between, you know, Chevrolet and Toyota and the Ford Ranger as small pickups that tow not like a Ford F-150 or a big Chevy, but you know, what can these guys do? 
And I want to come down and talk to Warren because he's had at least, I guess, two trailers with this yeah. truck. Yes. And so he has some good experience in trying to pull a trailer with him. And right now he's got a, a cute little R pod. What's the What's the length of the R pod? This one's 22 feet. 22 and, feet. Yeah, yeah and uh, it's 3,500 pounds. Yeah. So. Um, and this, the truck is rated for 7,500 right. to tow. And I've had no problem with that. Now the trailer that I had before, that was a 26 foot trailer. And it was about, dry weight was about 5,000 pounds. 5, so you get it loaded. And I figured I was running in the low 6,000, maybe 6,200 pounds. It towed it just fine. But um, I, I didn't like to have a trailer that big. Honestly, it's just me and my wife. So one, yeah, yeah, so one of the things that I've heard, and I guess uh, RVers know this, but uh, this wheelbase obviously is a little shorter than that Ford F-150, and I guess it's not only the towing power, like 7,500 pounds seems more than adequate to tow most trailers, uh -huh. it also has something to do with the wheel length and whether you get any of this kind of uh, waving on the highway and high winds, and also what the power is going uphill with a smaller pickup truck. So where have you taken your, uh, the larger trailer? Oh, uh, let's see, the larger trailer, we took it to California, we're here in Durango, so, you know, uh, and then we, uh, we took it to, um, uh, let's see, well up to Denver and all around Colorado, yeah. and uh, we have a, a little place down in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, we took it down there, so I imagine we put, I would just guess maybe 5,000 miles on the, uh, the other trailer. And what was the brand? That was called MPG, and it was 20, 20, 26 foot. 26 MPG. footer and about 5,000 5, Yeah, pounds. about 5,000 pounds. So you can't, you can't avoid mountains if you're where we live, right. and you can't avoid mountains if you go to California. So what was your experience like towing the bigger trailer uphill? What, what, what kind of speeds could you maintain with this going up, oh, up the hill? I didn't have any trouble with power going uphill. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it could take all that weight. Um, I was a little concerned. I didn't want to stress the transmission yeah. a whole lot, but you know, I, I haven't had any problems at all. Yeah. So, so in your opinion, you know, you could get away with a 24, 25 foot trailer. Oh yeah. But you, you feel a little more comfortable with a smaller trailer. Yeah. Up, find it easier to pull. Yeah. Easier you to back. Handle. Yeah. Yeah. And, back. and I have anti spray bars on it. Yep. And so I don't get a whole lot. Of a little bit. Uh, but I can maintain 65 miles an hour on two. How about going uphill? What's your what's your top speed going uphill? 45, 50? Oh no, I I can 65. Yeah, that's pretty good for a little truck like this. Oh yeah, this has got a four-cylinder turbo in it. Yeah. So uh, it and I and my truck goes pretty fast, but I've never towed with it. I do tow it, so this could be either towed as a towed <laughs> or can tow a trailer with it. So I I've never towed a trailer with it, but. Uh, you gave us a good idea of what it's like. How's the truck been for you? Any problems with it since you buy new? No, yeah, I bought new and uh, got a great deal on it. Yep. And uh, it's just been very reliable and, you know, get it down to have it serviced and everything's just great. This truck, no problem.